told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you my name is Ariane Childry, and I am the director of NOTA, which is Northwest Ohio Trans Advocacy. Uh, we have people coming from all over the 84th District and outside um, to just come here and protest HB 245, the Ohio Drag Ban. And the biggest message that we're trying to send is that when you want to export your hate statewide, we're going to bring the protests local. And so no more slipping out in Columbus and going back to your home districts and not having to deal with it. We're going to be there because we're part of these communities and we deserve to be treated equally as a part of the community. Hey, and also, sometimes <laughs> when people reference drag shows, they talk about children. I know that's a sore spot in the community as far as whether or not those performances actually have anything to do with children. Yeah, and you know, in these cases, we haven't seen any quote drag shows for children. We've seen public drag shows, which, you know, just like any artist, if you go to a, a you know, a comedy show. Would I tell you that every comedy show is appropriate for children? Absolutely not. I grew up on Richard Pryor during that era. I would never encourage anyone's children. But we also have Robin Williams going in, you know, that did movies that were geared and family friendly. Um, so it's the same thing with drag, you know, drag artists in bars, you might see something from a bar that's risque. And that's fine because it's in a bar where you've got an ID to get in. But just like any artist, they know how to tailor their message, tailor their performance for their environment. So when we have them out here, under most cases, I can tell you they are wearing more clothing than the vast majority of us out here. Lord help them, because I'm sweating through just right now. Um, but they're not, it's not inappropriate. It's not done for children. We just don't exclude children because there's nothing in the performances that are inappropriate. It's dance, it's gymnastics, it's art. And that's really it. So I, that's, that's kind of the point here. I think people are conflating things and trying to make it. When they talk about inappropriate, I think when, when we boil it right down, what they really find inappropriate when we get to it is it's a man in a dress. And it wouldn't matter if it was a mini skirt or a full length wedding dress, they're still going to see that as inappropriate. And that's a cultural thing. And that's fine to have your cultural reference for what you and your family want. So don't come to the drag shows, but you don't get to decide my cultural, you know, my culture. You don't get to decide what is appropriate for me when there is nothing blatantly inappropriate. It's just a, a moral or religious objection. And that's where I have a problem with it when we start putting our religious objections on other people because you're welcome to hold them for yourself. And I will support you 100% in your religious views. I've always said that if the government were saying we're going to demand that churches, you know, do gay marriages, they would have the weirdest ally known to man. Because while I would absolutely think that church was a bigoted, I would stand and protest right alongside them. And that's what I expect the same for us. You don't have to agree with us, but if you don't like it, stay home, go elsewhere because that's what we're doing. We're not at your church every Sunday if we don't like what you're preaching. We stay home, do the same. I fully support the First Amendment right to peacefully protest. This legislation has one simple goal, protecting children from seeing obscenities in public spaces. Drag performances in the public parks were the catalyst that triggered this bill, but it applies to all obscene acts regardless of who's performing them. This legislation makes no restrictions on adult activity and does not target someone who cross dresses. This bill is about adult performances and adult imagery, obscene performances in the presence of minors. There are adult establishments for these performances where adults can go and enjoy them. It's very concerning that this protest is objecting to a bill that protects impressionable children from adult sexualized performances which are obscene. This legislation will return our society to one that protects the innocence of children.